Good morning. I am Deanna Munger and uh, I'm a master's student here at Austin Grad. I'm so glad to get to share with you some of my personal story and some of my experience here at Austin Grad. Um, my husband James and I have two sons, Zach and Sammy, who are 10 and 6. Um, they're currently at a scout camp out and a soccer game, respectively. <laughs> so uh, you get a little picture of our lives. Um, my undergraduate degree is in chemical engineering, um, and I worked in semiconductor process engineering um, for several years before I quit to stay home with my two sons. That's just what I'm doing now. Um, I did love my engineering work. But I also loved being a stay-at-home mom, and um, so I really wasn't planning on grad school. Uh, it wasn't something that I had seen in my future. Um, but two years ago, when Dr. Napier returned from Croatia to take a teaching position here, um, it struck me just how much I would love to take a class. Um, he had done some teaching at the church, and it was so good that I thought, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, I had been teaching some in our women's ministries and our adult ministries, and I, I found I really enjoyed the detailed preparation for a class. So I was really just talking when I was expressing a desire to take his introduction to theology class. This is a case of be careful what you wish for. <laughs> my husband, my very dear husband, he gets a lot of props for this, um, arranged, and I, I mean, childcare and everything, for me to take that class as a birthday present. <laughs> it was a wonderful present, maybe the best I've ever gotten, um, because it has really shaped my path here. Um, it's been a, an incredible blessing. Um, at the time, you know, my younger son was still just in preschool, and I had been out of school so many years and in a completely different field. Um, and so the thought of taking a graduate class was really intimidating. Um, and I was surprised, but not just surprised. I was overwhelmed at the idea that I would try to go back to school after being out of it for so long. Um, well, I showed up, and it could not have been even one class meeting before I was completely hooked. Um, it, the, the quality of the instruction here from that first class continuing through today has, has been an amazing blessing to me. Um, it was so well taught. It brought together my whole concept of faith and the scriptures. And from that beginning, uh, you know, I was, first I was just scheduled to audit, you know, but that had to go by the wayside very quickly, switch to credit, um, make some room in our busy family schedule to pursue a master's program. Um, and I'm still at the very beginning of that. Um, I'm going very slowly because I want to have the time to spend with my, my sons while they're young. Um, but I'm so glad I'm doing it. It has amazed me how good these classes are, just how useful the material is, um, how much I see it um, play out in my life, with my friends, um, in teaching at church. Um, I've been taking Greek and now Hebrew, um, and I have not gotten over the intimidation factor signing up for those languages. But um, the professors are so impressive here that subjects like historical, theological vocabulary, and even Greek grammar have become fascinating. Um, that's, that's a pretty high praise, right? Um, I have felt that every part of my time and attention that I've invested here has come back to me in benefit, in blessing multiplied. Um, even though uh, this has opened up whole worlds of things I don't know, um, it has also just really um, been useful. Every little bit has been useful. Um, and I have a few examples for you. Um, recently, I was sitting with my book club, and um, this is a group of seven extremely intelligent, well-read, thoughtful atheists and me uh, in this book club. I, don't, I think maybe God had a hand in this somehow. Um, and I got to, because of a question they asked, I got to tell them about a concept of the Trinity and how that truth shapes the world that we live in that they had never heard before and they were interested in. Um, that was a really beautiful moment for all of us and um, they all reflected on that. Um, 
I've been teaching a youth group series at church, and I've been teaching the girls half, and the, my husband is teaching the boys half on sex and sexual identity. And I mean, we look at each other sometimes and say, how did we get into this? <laughs> how, who signed us up for this? Um, but these girls are lovely. They are self-possessed young ladies, and we have been able to discuss what it means to be made in the image of God and how that can inform their trying to navigate this hypersexualized culture that we live in. And so even though, you know, theology seems like such a, a high subject, the relevance to these young women has been really impressive to me. I really see God working in that. Um, just a week ago, I was teaching a ladies' Bible class, and um, I was conveying to the ladies this sense of tenderness that I get from Paul when he um, calls the, Philippi, the Philippians the agape ones of mine. He tells them, you know, my beloved, my agape ones, and then we were, t and then he immediately turns around and tells them not to be grumbling. And we were talking about the word used for grumbling and how it sounds like grumbling. And we. We just had an amazing discussion about what is grumbling and what is not grumbling, and how do we live that out in our lives, and how um, does it affect our churches and our relationships? All of these things are just, I mean, they come out of my classes here, and they've been an incredible blessing. And there's a lot of credit that goes to the people here for all of that. Um, and, you know, even though they're small, they're little bits and pieces, um, the glory goes to God that every bit of truth is still transformational. And um, I see that. Even though I'm early in my program, I really see it. And I see it working out in my life. Um, I've been so blessed to experience classes here, to share that blessing with others. And I am so excited to continue. And thank you for letting me share some of that story with you today.